Can you tell us if we can even absorb collagen? I'm not exactly sure what this comment was suggesting. However, I do think it's a very important discussion. To get the basics out of the way, collagen is a protein mainly found in our skin, hair, and nails. Collagen is extremely abundant in three specific amino acids, proline, hydroxyproline, and glycine. And many collagen proteins can form a collagen fiber, which has extreme strength and can hold up tissues like our tendons and our ligaments. And it's thought that the consumption of collagen will directly increase the amount of collagen that we produce. And at one point, it was thought that we only partially break down collagen inside of the intestinal tract. And we can absorb small pieces of collagen that can be directly used for collagen synthesis. With that being said, it's important to know that this is not the case. Just like every other protein we consume, collagen is broken down into single amino acids and then absorbed. And these amino acids can be used for any protein structure, not just collagen. It may be difficult to see, but collagen does contain a different amino acid profile. And collagen is abundant in the amino acids required for the synthesis of collagen. So if you are deficient in these amino acids, the consumption of collagen protein may increase the collagen that you produce because you are finally providing the body with the substrate required. With that being said, when we look at what the studies actually say, the consumption of collagen protein is no better than the consumption of a different protein source, specifically whey protein. And this is when it comes to the synthesis of connective tissue. Therefore, collagen consumption likely is not going to increase collagen synthesis. But collagen protein is inferior to whey protein when it comes to muscle protein synthesis. Therefore, on almost all accounts, whey protein source is going to be a superior protein source. With that being said, the consumption of vitamin C does appear to help increase collagen synthesis. And this is because vitamin C is actually required for the deposition of collagen. There are studies demonstrating that vitamin C enriched collagen, or in this study, gelatin, before activity can help increase collagen synthesis and help with injury prevention and tissue repair. With that being said, it's very important to understand that this study was not comparing collagen to whey protein. It was simply just looking at whether or not vitamin C enriched gelatin increased the synthesis of collagen after a workout. And if we take the other studies into account, we would likely get the same exact benefit from a vitamin C enriched whey protein or simply consuming vitamin C along a high quality protein such as beef, poultry, fish, and eggs. And these are probably going to be much cheaper ways to get in your protein. So in summary, collagen protein is likely going to be no better than whey protein or other protein sources when it comes to the production and synthesis of collagen. With that being said, if you are deficient in some of the proteins that are contained in the highest amount in a collagen protein, then the consumption of collagen protein may be beneficial for collagen synthesis because you are finally providing the building blocks in order to produce it. However, if you're eating a moderate to high protein diet, you are likely going to get all of the amino acids you need. Therefore, a collagen supplement will likely have no added benefits. But a vitamin C supplement or a high quality food source of vitamin C may actually be beneficial. And if you'd like to take control of your health and energy, send me a DM to sign up for coaching.